Hey, it's Smith, and today I'm covering how I use clipping masks and alpha locks within Procreate. Clipping masks and alpha locks are a way of drawing within a shape that you've already created, whether that's to add shading or add other elements to that shape. So to begin, I'm going to show you each one individually. I'm going to start off with clipping masks first. So as you can see, I'm drawing a circle, filling it in by dragging the dot from the corner to the shape. I'm going to rename the layer by tapping on the layer, clicking rename, and I'm going to be calling it base layer. Now for the clipping mask, I'm going to create a new layer above it by clicking the add. Tap on the new layer and then click clipping mask. You've converted that layer to a clipping mask now. Now on that layer, I'm going to be adding some shading to it. So as you can see with clipping mask, one benefit is that whatever you've drawn within that shape, it can be moved around. Now for alpha locks, I'm going to create a new layer. Same as before, I'm going to draw a circle. And to snap it to the circle, just tap on the screen with another finger. Again, drag the colour from the corner to the shape. Now with alpha locks, you tap on the layer that you've just drawn. Click alpha lock. And as you can see, the background has turned into this checkered background. Now again, selecting the shading brush. One thing with this though, because it's all on the same layer, it can't be moved individually. Now I'm going to show you an example where I include both of these in one illustration. So I'm going to be starting off the same as I did with the previous two, just drawing a circle and then filling it by dragging the corner to the shape. So I'm going to create a layer above it, convert that to a clipping mask. And then within that I'm going to be adding some shading. So this illustration I'm just drawing a ball, so I'm adding a shadow to the bottom right of the circle, gradually getting darker. As you can see here, each level of um, darkness, I'm creating a new layer for it in case I do want to move it around later on. It's gradually making the shading darker the closer to the edge I get. So now with this layer, I'm going to be creating a pattern within the ball. So again, I've created a layer above it and converted it to a clipping mask. The pattern that I'm drawing is being contained within the shape. But for a bit of realism, if the pattern was on the ball, there would be some shading on the pattern too. So to do this, I'm converting the pattern layer to an alpha lock. Now I can draw within those boundaries of the pattern that I've created. I'm just going to be selecting a lighter colour for the highlights from the top left. Now staying on the same layer but selecting a darker colour for the bottom right of the wall. So I hope you guys found that tutorial useful. Go check out my Instagram, Design with Smith. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. Cheers. Ready.